Good morning. A group of college students once came to the Lubavitcher Rebbe, and they had an audience with him. And one of the students said to the Rebbe, Rebbe, we heard that you could perform miracles. Is that true? And the Rebbe looked at these college students and said, yes. a matter of fact, I'll perform a miracle right now. The students were amazed. And the Rebbe looked at these students and he said, if every one of you will think of some mitzvah that you think it's impossible for you to ever do, and resolve to do it, and then go out and perform it, each and every one of you will have performed a miracle. A miracle is going beyond the natural. Every one of us, through sheer determination and effort, can achieve the miraculous, the supernatural in our lives. This week's Torah portion, Tazria, the first of the two Torah portion, discusses childbirth and the laws of childbirth. Now you know the story about the sign on the door of the OBGYN. The sign on the door of the OBGYN said, push, push, push. We all know that childbirth is the most beautiful miracle that we could ever experience in this world. But it doesn't come without tremendous effort and even pain. And the message is that if you want to create something new, you want to bring about a new creation in your life, it's going to take hard work and it's going to take determination. I was talking to someone who had gone through rehab and he said to me something very beautiful. He said, the first thing they teach you when you get to rehab is, no one is allowed to use the word, I can't. But rather they encourage you to say, instead of I can't, to say, I don't want it bad enough. Every one of us can. It depends how badly we want to achieve it. And so the lessons of childbirth is, that all of us have the potential to create something new and beautiful in our lives, a new path. But, as they say, the difficult we do immediately, the impossible just takes a little bit longer. And that is human miracles, like the human miracle of creating a child. It's a metaphor as well for life, that through effort and determination and willpower and even a little bit of pain, it has to hurt sometimes. Then you know something beautiful is about to be born. You know, when Israel was established, and this week is Israel's Independence Day, Shlomo Gorin, who was the chief rabbi of the military, Rabbi Shlomo Gorin, he's the one who famously blew the shofar, who said, Har Habayat Biadenu in 1967, when they captured, Israel captured Jerusalem and the Western Wall. He convinced David Ben-Gurion that there should be three rules that apply to all army bases. Rule number one is that every army base has to have a kosher kitchen. Rule number two, that on Shabbat there cannot be any um, training except for emergency exercises. Rule number three was that every army base has to have a uh, synagogue on it, even if it's a little trailer. And the head of the Sanchanim, the paratroopers, was Arik Sharon, General Arik Sharon. And he didn't have any religious soldiers. And he said to Shlomo Goren, why should we have these three rules in our army base? We don't have any religious soldiers in the paratroopers, which is a very elite unit, that are going to use the synagogue or eat kosher food or not train on Shabbat. And Rabbi Goren said to Arik Sharon, I watched the paratroopers falling from the heaven with their white uh, parachutes. They look like angels coming down from heaven. How could angels not eat kosher? And he argued with Eric Sharon to make the kitchen kosher. Finally, Eric Sharon said, I'll tell you what, when the first paratrooper joins that's religious, then I'll go kosher in the army base. And Rabbi Shlomo Gorin, this rabbi with a beard, uh, said to Eric uh, Sharon, okay, I'm ready to sign up in the Tzanchanim. I want to become a paratrooper. And Eric Sharon said, you? He said, yes. And he went through the training, he even broke his leg on the way, and was walking around in the cast. But as you know, it's a very rigorous training to join the Tzanchanim. And one day, the entire Tzanchanim group was out there, and sure enough, Rabbi Gorin jumped out of the plane with his parachute. And ever since then, the Tzanchanim is one of the most elite and kosher units, and many, many religious boys joined the Tzanchanim. And it was all thanks to Rabbi Shlomo Gorin, who said, yes, if I want, I can make this happen, whatever it takes, even if I have to jump. Sometimes we all have to take a leap, a leap of faith, not just faith in God, but faith in ourselves, 
to create something new and something beautiful and something miraculous in all of our lives.